cyanobacteria or cyanophyta are a phylum of gram negative bacteria that obtain energy via photosynthesis the name cyanobacteria refers to their color which also gives them the common name blue green algae although they are not usually scientifically classified as algae they appear to have originated in a fresh water or terrestrial environment cerecytochromatia the proposed name for the paraphyletic and most basal group is the ancestor of both the non photosynthetic group and the photosynthetic cyanobacteria the non photosynthetic group is called melanina bacteria and the photosynthetic cyanobacteria are called oxophotobacteria cyanobacteria are a very large and diverse phylum they are photoautotrophic prokaryotes they are defined by their unique combination of pigments and their ability to perform oxygenic photosynthesis they often live in colonial aggregates that can take on a multitude of forms the filamentous species often dominate the upper layers of microbial mats that can be found in extreme environments such as the hot spring deserts hypersaline water and the polar region they are also widely distributed in more common environments too cyanobacteria are evolutionary optimized for environmental conditions of low oxygen some species are nitrogen fixing in nature and live in a wide variety of moist soils and water either freely or in a symbiotic relationships with plants or lichen forming fungi they range from unicellular to filamentous and include even colonial species colonies may form filaments sheets or even hollow spheres cyanobacteria are globally widespread and are major contributors to global biogeochemical cycles they are the only oxygenic photosynthetic prokaryotes that prosper in such diverse and extreme habitats they are among the oldest organisms on earth with fossil records dating back to 3.5 billion years ago since then cyanobacteria have been essential players in the earth's ecosystem planktonic cyanobacteria are a fundamental component of all marine food webs and are major contributors to global carbon and nitrogen fluxes Some cyanobacteria form harmful algal blooms causing the disruption of aquatic ecosystem services and intoxication of wildlife and humans by the production of powerful toxins cyanotoxins nowadays cyanobacterial blooms pose a serious threat to aquatic environment and public health and are increasing in frequency and magnitude globally Cyanobacteria are ubiquitous marine primary producers. The marine phytoplankton today contribute almost half of the earth's total primary production. Only a few lineages of cyanobacteria colonize the open ocean. From these lineages, nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria are particularly important because they exert a control on primary productivity and the export of organic carbon to the deep ocean by converting nitrogen gas into ammonia, which is later used to make amino acids and proteins. Marine phycocyanobacteria numerically dominate most phytoplankton assemblages in the modern oceans contributing importantly to primary productivity while some planktonic cyanobacteria are unicellular and free living others have established symbiotic relationships with haplophyte algae among the filamentous forms some are free living and some form aggregates However, filamentous heterocyst forming cyanobacteria are found in association with diatoms too. Marine cyanobacteria include the smallest known photosynthetic organism. The smallest of all, Prochlorococcus, is just 0.5 to 0.8 micrometers in diameter. In terms of individual numbers, Prochlorococcus is possibly the most plentiful species on earth. A single millimeter of surface water can contain more than a lakh cells. Worldwide, there are estimated to be octillion, that is, ten to the power of twenty-seven individuals. Prochlorococcus is ubiquitous between forty degrees north and forty degrees south. 
latitudes. They dominate the oligotrophic or nutrient poor regions of the oceans. The bacterium accounts for about 20% of the oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere. Cyanobacteria are variable in morphology, ranging from unicellular and filamentous to colonial forms. Filamentous forms exhibit functional cell differentiation such as heterosis for nitrogen fixation, echinates or resting stage cells and hormogonia, reproductive motile filamentous cells. These together with the intracellular connections they possess are considered to be the first signs of a multicellular organism. Many cyanobacteria form motile filaments of cells called homogonia. These travel away from the main biomass to bud and form new colonies elsewhere. The cells in a homogonium are often thinner than in a vegetative cell and the cells on either end of the motile chain may be tapered. To break away from the parent colony, a homogonium must often tear apart a weaker cell in a filament called a necridium. Some filamentous species can differentiate into several cell types. Vegetative cells, that is the normal photosynthetic cells that are formed under favorable growing conditions. Achinites, a climate resistant spore that may form when the environmental conditions are harsh. Thick-walled heterocysts which contain the enzyme nitrogenase vital for nitrogen fixation in an anaerobic environment due to its sensitivity to oxygen. Each individual cell that is a single cell cyanobacterium typically has a thick gelatinous cell wall. They lack flagella but homogonia of some species can move about by gliding along surfaces. Many of the multicellular filamentous forms of oscillatoria are capable of a waving motion. The filament oscillates back and forth. In water columns, some cyanobacteria float by forming gas vehicles as in archaea. These vesicles are not organelles as such. They are not bound by lipid membranes but rather a protein sheath. Cyanobacteria use photosynthetic pigments such as carotenoids, phycobilins and various forms of chlorophyll which absorb energy from light. Unlike heterotropic prokaryotes, cyanobacteria have internal membranes. These are flattened sacs called thylakoids where photosynthesis is performed. Phototrophic eukaryotes such as green plants perform photosynthesis in plastids. These are thought to have, have their ancestry in cyanobacteria acquired long ago via a process called endosymbiosis. These endosymbiotic cyanobacteria in eukaryotes then evolved and differentiated into specialized organelles such as the chloroplast, chromoplast, etioplast, leucoplast which are all collectively known as plastids. Cyanobacteria are the first organisms to have produced oxygen. By producing and releasing oxygen as a byproduct of photosynthesis, cyanobacteria are thought to have converted the early oxygen poor reducing atmosphere into an oxidizing one called the great oxidation event and the rusting of the earth, which dramatically changed the composition of the earth's life forms. Many cyanobacteria being studied today are important model organisms with potential applications in biotechnology for bioethanol production, food coloring and as a source of human and animal food, dietary supplement and raw materials. Cyanobacteria can produce a range of toxins called cyanotoxins that can pose a danger to humans and animals.